I like a grip that comes from Codex Wallenstein. It's a German wrestling man from like 1400, maybe 15. I remember it's 14th century or 1400. But he does two grips to start off that he can. If the guy's coming at you, he goes wrist, bicep, boom. Grabbing, hooking. Now in Wallenstein, he reverses it. He goes left hand to right because in the Middle Ages, everybody had a knife to eat. You're eating with a knife. So he wants to keep the right hand, probably the weapon hand, away from your abdomen and not pulling it towards your abdomen, which makes sense. But I don't have to worry about most people having a knife. I said most, not us. So I'm here. There's two ways I really like to get to the back. Well, one main one. It's called an arm drag. If I get this arm here, one of the reasons I like this position is because I have an arm drag, which is I'm going to push down and out. This hand comes in. I grab the tricep deep. I'm stepping. I'm pinning my shoulder, his shoulder, with my head. This way, if he tries to turn around on me, I can keep following. Boom. And I'm using this to hook and pull once I'm here. I come, I like to grab a lat, and I take it back. Again, seatbelt. I can have double under, seatbelt's better. Does this make sense? Show the skin. But one of the reasons I like this group, this setup, just explain this real quick, is because if he comes low with this arm, I have the arm grab. If he comes high with this arm trying to get it back, I can step in, boom, keep on sign out. It's a judo throw, hip throw. Boom, bring him up over you. If I have this and he steps back to try and get away, I come in fire or single. So I think you'll like this group. So, arm grab, again, we want to get the wrist. We can do it with one hand. We don't need that full grip setup. Just if you can get it, I like it. Most people know now I like it, so they don't get it. I'm trying to get pointer finger, middle finger, the thumb here. If I can, I can. If I can, I can. Again, I'm pulling down and out. This creates a fulcrum lock. His arm doesn't bend this way. That's how an arm bar works. That's how Kimura works. We're using the biomechanics here to get a lever. I hook, I pull, I step, and don't forget this. Don't forget to pin tight here, head to shoulder. This helps keep him from running away from you, but also helps keep him from being able to smack in your face with stuff. You don't want to get clocked in the face. I'm real close to his other elbow. You know what I mean? And again, I'm keep this hook here, keep this pull under the armpit. I'm coming around, I grab the lat. This slips right up in. In the other direction. Here, I hook, I step, I pin, I grab the lat, I come up, boom. And just like when we were on the guy's back, we have all those chokes. We come up, boom, short choke. RNC is going to be a little harder because he's taller, but we have our neck attacks. Does that make sense? While staying safe, 